Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for the Lord God, omnipotent race. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let us worship God this morning for his faithfulness over our lives. Let's begin to magnify him because he's good to us. That is not to be compared to him. Our God is good. Our God is good. That is not to be compared to him. He is good. Magnifying this morning. Honor his name and exalt his holy name. Bless him because of his faithfulness to us. For the way and the manner he be dealing with us, it can only be him. Giving praise and giving glory. Giving praise and giving glory. Giving praise and giving glory. Hallelujah to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to his holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnifying brethren and exalt his holy name. Giving praise, giving praise. Sing hallelujah to him, O Lord. Sing hallelujah to him, magnify him and exalt him. Glory to the King of kings in the mighty name of Jesus. Honor to the King eternal. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Please bless him and magnify him. Bless him and magnify him. Bless him and exalt him. There is no be compared to him. He's good and he's kind. To his name be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus. To him be honor alone in Jesus' mighty name. To him be glory, glory alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Please give him praise, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him praise, glory, give him praise. O Sana to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Please give him praise. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. For everyone under your roof, give him glory. Magnify his name, exalt his holy name. Give him praise, give him glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, sing to him. Raise praise to him, raise song to him. Magnify his holy name. Worship before him and exalt him. Let your Ebenezer be unto him. Let your praise be unto him. Let your song go up to him. Let your praise go up good to him. Let his name be praised in your mouth. Let his name be exalted in your mouth. Glorify him and exalt him. Magnify him and exalt him. Call him by his name. Tell of his wonderful words to you. Remind him when the days you are sick and you heal you. Reminding the day there was no money and he provided for you. Reminding the day he didn't allow the enemy to prosper in your life. Giving glory and giving praise. Giving glory and giving praise. Tell of his wonderful works. Magnify his holy name, brethren. And exalt him this morning. Magnify his holy name. And give him praise. Magnify his holy name. And exalt him. Magnify his holy name. And give him grace. Magnify his holy name. 
and giving praise, magnify his holy name, and exalt him, giving praise, giving praise. Our God is good, our God is kind. There is none like unto him. He is glorious in holiness, magnifying and exalting, magnifying and exalting. For every day of this year, you are already seen, giving praise, giving glory. He is beginning to keep us already, and is keeping us this far already. Oh, glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Who can keep us after this sort, if not him? Magnify him and exalt him. Magnify him and exalt him. Tell of his wonderful words in the life of those that have gone before us. He divided the red sea. He put down the enemy of his people. They still saw him and fled. Oh, giving praise and giving glory. He parted Jordan, that he spilled my work on dry ground, giving praise, giving glory. For wonderful works he has done, giants were brought down by him, giving praise and giving glory. The ancient he, they saw him and they fly away, giving praise and giving glory. The small, small he, they saw him, they skip like, like lamb, magnify him and exalt him, giving praise, giving glory. Even the desert at his presence became cool for the people of God. He fed them in the wilderness. He provided water for them. He made way where there is no way. He made sure his people were comforted. He healed them of their diseases. He delivered them from their trouble. When the fiery serpent came to bite them, he delivered them, giving praise and giving glory, giving praise and giving glory, because he saved men of old. And that's why we know he can save us also. Magnify him and exalt his holy name. Call him almighty. Tell him he's the almighty God. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing he cannot do. There is no one greater than him. There is no one mightier than him. There is no one older than him. He's the El Shaddai. He's the almighty father. Magnify him and exalt him. No one can be compared to him. He is from ages to ages. Give him praise. He is the almighty father. Is the Almighty Father, the one that reigns forever, giving glory and give his name. The Bible says his name is a strong tower. As men that run to his name never falter, never die. And as men that run to his name are safe. Thank you because his name is, is, is forever. Thank you because in his name we have run to his name several times. We and our children and our household, and we have been saved severally. Oh, glory to his name in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no one bigger than him and mighter than him. He is the savior of the whole world. Giving praise and giving glory. Giving praise and giving glory. By his blood, the blood of his son, we have been saved. He sacrificed for us eternally. Magnify him and giving glory. Giving praise, giving glory. Exalt him, exalt him. Magnify him and giving glory. Say holy to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy, holy, holy to the God Almighty, the one that was and is and is to come. Blessed be his name, blessed be his name, blessed be his name. Hallelujah to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him forever in the mighty name of Jesus. There is none to be compared to him. Oh, there is none to be compared to him. Blessed be his name, blessed be his name, blessed be his name. Hallelujah to him. Glory to him, honor to him, O Sana to him. Bless his name, brethren. Bless his name, brethren. Oh, who can keep us after this manner if not him? Bless him and honor him. To him be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him praise, give him glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify him and exalt him in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Our uh, God is good, brethren. There's none that can do all these things doing in our life, if not Him. Our uh, God is good. He deserves all our praise. He deserves all our thanksgiving. He deserves all the honor we can give to Him. Magnify once again, say that we thank Him. For every one of my children, I thank Him. Call them by their name and magnify God their behalf. Say amen to God to, to them on their behalf. Thank you for your spouse. Thank you for your household. Thank you for your everything he has blessed your life with. Please thank him and give him praise. Thank him and give him praise. There is none like unto him. Our God is good. 
our God is good. Indeed, our God is good. On behalf of our children, has done so much. Oh, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, sing unto him, sing unto him. Pick a song and sing unto him. Sing unto him, sing unto him. Pick your song and sing unto him. He has done so much for me. He has taken away my sorrow. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He's coming to take me home. Raise a song to him, brethren. Magnify him and raise a song to him. Magnify him, sing unto him. He says, sing unto the Lord for his goodness and joy forever. Sing unto him. Sing unto him. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him. Tell him his word of our praise. Give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. Give him honor, give him praise for great thing he has done, for great thing he is doing in our life. Give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Glory, honor, adoration to you, Father. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for day one of this meeting. Thank you for how you open our minds, understanding our eyes to greater truth for this year. I want to say it again. If you have not listened to day one of this meeting, please go and listen to it again. Very important. Thank you for that day one. And thank you for what we are already doing in our houses in response to the meeting of day one. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your inspirations into our individual hearts and homes, telling us what to do according to your will, according to your mind for us. We say, blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for day two. Thank you. And thank you, Lord, for this day three. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, because it pleases you that we should dedicate this morning to our children and pray for them. Jesus Christ say, bring me the children. Let them come unto me, for there is the kingdom of God. Thank you because you have our children in your mind right from the beginning of the ages. The Bible says in number 23, it said there is no enchantment and there is no divination against Israel nor against Jacob. Thank you because when that was being written, you had our children in your mind. Thank you because either two we can say it because it is true that there is no enchantment and there is not be any divination against them. That not that the enemy have not tried their best, but they have not prospered because you didn't learn it to prosper. That they might say, What has God wrought? And that world, they might be surprised. How are these people being kept? How are these children being preserved? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you we say, Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that which we know, know you will do in each of their lives. And thank you for that which you know you have done in their life in the past, especially in the year that just finished. Thank you for protection, thank you, for healing, thank you, for keep, for adding to their numbers. Thank you because we can say authoritatively here this morning and say, No single one of them was lost. All glory to you alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the year of the Holy Spirit, Father, we ask, please reign their life. Amen. In the heart and the life of every child under this umbrella of praying, praying, prayer group. Every child whose mother or father is hearing me now, either they are already walking around or they are still in the belly or is still in the loin. Everyone whose parents are hearing me now, we say this year of 2023, you will reign all their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, as we bring them for you this morning, we pray on their behalf. Answer us. Do what only you can do and be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, I keep escaping my mind that I will give you reports concerning the sacrifice we did in December. We were able to reach more home and more lives this time around than we did last year or since we've been doing it. We were able to collect about uh, 180,000. And that means that mean we are able to reach 18 different people and family this last December. To God be the glory for that in Jesus' mighty name. 
And I want to thank everyone of what that have been part of it and those that supported us either in prayer or in kind and to reach to these homes. God bless you as you have put smile on others' faces and they are able to feed their children and take care of their home that period. God will put smile on your face and we take care of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much for every one of us. God bless you Amen. for doing our part individually. God bless you mightily in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, I would love to have shared testimony to you how people reacted to it. People were very, very happy. Very, very happy. People pray for you and they, and they thank God on your behalf. And I pray those prayers will work for you and your family. Most importantly, for your children in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to have this prayer first of all before we take our hymn. The Bible says, We are just quoted just now. It says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. This is one of the scriptures that God gave us right from the beginning of this ministry that should teach our children to have this by heart. I believe you still remember that. Those that already know that we are hearing it now, that we teach our children children to have the scripture by heart. I want to pray for them this year. One of the dangerous ways the enemy can strike a family is to strike the children. Maybe they'll try, mommy, we cannot get her, daddy, we cannot get him. Let us try the children. And when that's why the Lord say, there's still a judgment against Jacob. Then there's their divination against Israel. The enemy will not prosper in the life of any of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When I mean children, they are not just babies alone, even adults. Even we ourselves, we are children in God's hand. Amen. So don't just say they are just small, small children alone. They are inclusive. Even the one in the belly, they are all inclusive. And ourselves, as children in God's hand, we are all inclusive. No enchantment will prosper against me. Amen. And no divination will prosper against me. All you are saying for yourself, in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment will prosper against me, and no divination will prosper against me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Let me explain that quickly for you before we take our hymn. When you talk of enchantments and divination, how do they work? One of the ways they work is to make is that when somebody is, is uh, enchanted, when there's divination, posted against someone. One of the ways to work is that it makes you to misbehave. Things ordinarily you wouldn't do, you begin to do it, and mostly for negative reasons. So much so that at the end of the day, it's either the person is put in trouble, or the person is pushed into shame, or the person is sent possibly to jail, and ultimately even to kill. When you see a child behaving in the way that you have not been trained, Abnormal, sometimes it's not a uh, child. It may be an enchantment. When you see a man, how a man will come one morning and said, Madam, I'm not doing again, go go your house for no reason. Sometimes it's not the man, it's just uh, it's been there's a divination, an enemy working somewhere against him or her. You see a woman sometimes just wake up in the morning and just have this perfect hatred for the husband. Where there was love before, just have this hatred for the man. Something that is more than me, the eyes, than little we are seeing. So when somebody is attracted against, it made them to misbehave primarily, majorly to put them to shame, even to kill, it can not taken. I want to pray for our children first of all this morning and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no excitement against my children. You can call them by their name, I feel that to be fine. And there will be no divination against anyone of them in the mighty name of Jesus. No excitement and no divination will prosper against my children in the mighty name of Jesus. No divination or enchantment will prosper against me myself, can David No against my spouse in the mighty name of Jesus comfort. No enchantments, no divination shall prosper against us in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written, there's no weapon fashion against me that shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon fashion against me. That shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. There is no enchantment. There is no divination that will prosper against me in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no enchantment. There is no divination that will prosper against me in the mighty name of Jesus. And not against my children in Jesus' mighty name. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let me give you two examples quickly before we lead that prayer. You see a man that worked for 35 years in service and having just be three months to go and retired. Just three months, or a woman that served for 30 years in service and have just uh, maybe six months, according to her age, to retire and go. And something just happened, and he or she was sacked. And the labor of 30 years, 33 years, went down the drain. That is not ordinary. Somebody somewhere is monitoring something. You see a child at the university, uh, I heard of a case. This boy at also was in part five or part four, I think final year of his work. And only God knew what happened to him. He went to the exam hall to go and help somebody to write exam and he was caught at his final year. And all the labor of these years for this man and for the parent went down the drain. When people begin to misbehave to the point of losing their labor, then something is wrong somewhere. We say the mighty name of Jesus, no child may prosper against my home, against any child in my home, and there's no divination in the mighty name of Jesus. No child may prosper against my children, none of them in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment, no divination will prosper against us in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And lastly, I'm down to, to pray for your family that no enchantment will prosper against your family. Look at Israel as a family. Balaam just woke up one morning and said, no, I will cost this land. He did all he could. God wouldn't allow him to cost Israel. You know what he did? We had this creature was almost fulfilled in their life. He sent spy to their means, go and cause them to sin against God. The same people that God did not allow Balaam to cause, God himself sent serpent to their means. In one single day, 23,000 died. Even for Finnehad that helped them. 20,000 died, just because they were under a spell of the wicked. And they begin to do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do. And you see family that's so beautiful, so wonderful. But when they come under a particular spell that they say, can I even explain? They begin to do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do. There will not be enemy, enemy will not prosper in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, no enchantment. And no divination against my home in Jesus' mighty name. No enchantment and no divination against my family in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment and no divination against my home in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment and no divination against my home in the mighty name of Jesus. No enchantment and no divination against my home in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want to spend more time on this one. Please, I won't pray on it. I know her family, when they were to wed, somebody said, I will not allow them to wed. I'm not interested, I don't like the girl. But the man said, that's the woman that we married. And insists in marrying him. They tell him, if you marry this woman, you will not have children. And good for them. Somehow, children start coming. But they might prosper in what they have said and confide to the man that this marriage said will not prosper. They put a spell on them. Before you know it, the man walked out of the family. More than 90 years now, he has not come back. That's what the enemy can do. He can put a spell on my home, on individual, and on children. I pray that uh, no spell of the wicked will prosper in our life, Amen. and our children, and our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is no enchantment. There is no divination. There is no evil prosper against Israel. I mean, plan against it that shall prosper because there's no way from fashion against me and against you that will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Imagine raising a child, maybe a boy or a son, for say 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, as suddenly this boy just turned against the family or this girl and begin to misbehave against the parents for no reason at all. At that age, after this after, after, after suffer for him for that long, sometimes it's not the boy's fault. Somebody is manipulating something somewhere. Nobody this year, 2023 and beyond, nobody by the name of Jesus Christ will be allowed or permitted to manipulate your child against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Having suffered, having raised that child to that level in his life or in her life, 
No one will be allowed to manipulate them against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Not against any one of our families in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We take our hymn. As we take this hymn, have your children at the back of your mind. So as singing the hymn, it will assume you, you will assume you are, you are one of your children or your children. One by one, you will be crossing your mind by person, by individual. Even when you are expecting by God's grace, you will be singing this song on their behalf. I sing to God in your heart prayerfully. God will not only answer it on your behalf. It will be a prayer you have prayed to God on the behalf of each of your children. And God will bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give me oil in my life. Keep me burning. As we sing that song, as we read those words one by one, please read to understanding, understanding of each of your child in particular, or a particular child that God has kept in your care. Not necessarily your biological children and don't. Maybe as a minister, as a pastor, that can be your desire for the member of your church, the children there. That by so by them being under you, they can prosper and do well in life. And that will be their Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Give me oil in my life. Give me burning. One to go. Give me oil in my life. Give me burning. Give me burning. Give me oil in my land. I pray. Give me oil in my land. Give me burning. Give me burning. Give me burning till the break all day. Osana, sing Osana, sing Osana, sing Osana to the King of Kings. Sing Osana, sing Osana, sing Osana to the King. Give me joy. In my heart, give me praising, give me praising, give me joy in my heart. I pray, give me joy in my heart, give me praising, give me praising, give me praising till the break of day. Oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana. Sing, O oh, Sana, sing, O oh, Sana, to the kings of oh, king. Sing, O oh, Sana, sing, O oh, Sana, sing, O oh, Sana, to the king. Give me love in my heart, give me serving. Give me serving, give me love in my heart. I pray. Give me love in my heart. Keep me serving, keep me serving, keep me serving till the break of this. Oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana. Sing, O oh, Sana, to the King of Kings. King, O oh, Sana, sing, O oh, Sana, sing, O oh, Sana, to the King. Give me faith in my heart. Keep me praying. Keep me praying. Give me faith in my heart. I pray, give me faith in my heart, give me praying, give me praying, give me praying, till the break of this. Oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, to the King. Oh, King, sing, oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, sing, oh, Sana, to the King. Hallelujah. I will turn those words to prayer.
the first is say, give me oil in my land. I just, there, there, I think sometimes this year or last year we pray this prayer for us in particular. I want to pray the city for sure that God will anoint them with the oil of gladness. Mm -hmm. God will anoint them with mercy. God will anoint them with grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Call them by their name, I beg of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, if I may pray for you, God will anoint you with oil in the mighty name of Jesus, the oil of gladness, the oil of mercy, and the oil of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, I pray for you and mercy. God will anoint you with the oil of gladness, the oil of mercy, the oil of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you, God will anoint you with the oil of wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for my wife being a child in my hand as a wife. I pray for you, God will anoint you, for forth with oil of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus, with oil of grace, with oil of mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for myself too, as a child in God's hand, God will anoint me all of mercy, all of grace, all of joy, all of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Every child in praying prayer prayer group, all of you all over the world, I pray God will anoint you all of mercy, with all of grace, with all of joy, with all of wisdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not laugh for her in Jesus' mighty name. You will never be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never look at your lamb and it's empty in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. No child under my care will lack in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Bible say, I have been old, now I am, I have been young, now I am old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread. My children will not beg for bread. Amen. They will never lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All you are saying for yourself, my children will, not lack, will never lack. They will not beg for bread in the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall never lack. They will not beg for bread. I anoint their forehead with the oil of gladness, with all of, with all of provisions. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will have enough and sufficient and to spare in the mighty name of Jesus. My children are anointed by the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written, they go from place to place, from people to people, say concerning them that touch not my anointed and do my perfect no harm. Touch not my children and do them no harm in the mighty name of Jesus. My children, none of them will be victims of divination, they will not be victims of incantation. In the mighty name of Jesus, there's no enchantment, there's no incantation, there's no divination shall prosper against any of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. They are anointed with oil in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus Christ, for the oil which was anointed was exalted above his fellow. My children be exalted above their fellow in the mighty name of Jesus, because they are anointed with the oil of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. My anointed with oil of favor, oil of mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. One of the signs of anointing upon a child is that he will not be frustrated. Never be frustrated. Never be get to a place where he will be stranded. I want to pray for each of the children under your care that they will not be frustrated in life in Jesus' mighty name. They will not get to a place where they will be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. No child under my roof. No child under my care. No child under the umbrella of my prayer. We get to a place in life where they be fortreated. They not be depressed. They not be fortreated in the mighty name of Jesus. None of our children be fortreated or depressed in the mighty name of Jesus. No demon, no man, no woman is allowed to fortreate my children in Jesus' mighty name. I anoint my child the oil of gladness in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please pray this prayer for your child. Carefully and with and all your heart. Some of us in life, you know what we have gone through in life, our experiences. Maybe if our parents have prayed prayer for us when we are very small, we may likely not have gone through those experiences. Before we are married, some God have gone through terrible experiences in the hand of men, some in the hand of women. As a matter of fact, the frustration of that experience, some of them we still carry to our marriages, even till now. The only time we remember, we are depressed and frustrated. Having, having done much, having committed much, this man did this, or this man did this. Some of all in our businesses, we have been frustrated many times, if not for God. You don't have, your children don't have to pass through the same experience you, are, you went through. 
your children had to fight the same war you fought. Some of those experiences you went through, it's not because of those men or women, that's why you should forgive them. Some of them to are sponsored against you. Divination, some of them are regretting now why they did what they did. They may not tell you. They are living regret all their life why they, why they did what they did. They are wondering, why do I treat this girl or this boy like this? They are still ashamed of what they did. It simply means they say, we are being used by the enemy against you. But the truth of the matter is your children don't have to go through the same thing. That's why nothing is important. Say, touch not my anointed and do my right no harm. Not only touching of, uh, of, of evil, physically speaking now, uh, even touching of frustrations. No man is allowed to frustrate my children maritally or relationship wise. What I've gone through in marriage or relationship, my children don't have to go through it, go through it if they are not good. Now you need to pray for them once again and say, Father, the mighty name of Jesus, I anoint my children with the oil of gladness. No man or woman is allowed to portray them. In leadership wise, in, uh, in the academics, in their business, in their career, no guy is allowed to portray them. No one is allowed to put my children to depress in the mighty name of Jesus. No one is allowed to make them to go through the same terrible thing I go through. I went through in the mighty name of Jesus. The wars I fought, my children don't have to fight them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, give them oil, anoint them oil to keep burning till the day you will come in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I have to pray for the joy, for joy, the, for the joy that was set before him in the other cross. Joy is very important in the life of every children. Sometimes you see a child just, just frowning her face or his face, just unhappy. You've been wondering what's wrong with this child. How can a child of five years be frowning face? Not even a child of 15 years now. You say maybe something's wrong somewhere. A child of seven, eight, frowning face 24 7. That lie is lacking, that child is lacking joy. And I said, if you keep going like that, you'll be a problem for the parent, no doubt. And man likely live his entire life depressed, or her entire life depressed. And that number of children in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes it's in a demonic. A demon just attached inside to that child to make her or him unhappy for no reason. Lord, put joy in the heart of my children. Joy that can never be tampered with. Joy that can never be removed. Joy of the Holy Spirit. Put joy in the heart of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Call them by their name one by one. Either you are affected them by faith or the one that God has already blessed you with. Call them one by one. And say, Lord, put joy out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy to praise you. Joy to serve you. Joy to be, to be happy. They are part of our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Put joy in the heart of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Put joy out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Put joy out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Put joy, joy out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy beyond the understanding of man. Joy beyond what I can give them in Jesus' mighty name. Let them be happy and be rejoicing. In their heart, they are part of my family in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. A child that has no joy may not likely love his family. Now I was telling me of late in one of in the, in the school of or one of our boy, you know, the there is this child in that school. The father will drive him. They even they even have a car. The parent will drive this boy to the school, practically every day. But the boy was telling, I think the children of the school, the children, I can't remember. The boy was telling his friend that that was the driver or the dad, or their or their, or their driver in the family bringing him to school. Now the day now has a problem in the school. They now ask him to call his parents. Or they saw the driver and said, driver, when you get to, please tell the parents of this boy, we need to see them. God, the boy did this and did that. He fell into trouble in school. And the father was surprised that I am the father, not the, the driver. And they said, but the boy has been telling us that you, drive, you, are, you are his driver and not his father. A child is not happy to be at the 35 with you, it's not your child. Any child, uh, there are many like that in family, they are not happy to be identified with their parents. The reason is because they don't have joy in their hearts, that they are part of their heart, of their family. 
Father, please put joy in my in the heart of my children. Father, Any my child heart. like that will never be a good child, even when God puts him to money later in the future. Lord, put joy out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Every child you're given to me, biologically, spiritually, as a, as, a, as, as, a man of, as a man of faith, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, put joy in their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. A shall anointed of God will surely have joy. Amen. And we have the love of his parents in their hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And to pray that, Lord, nobody will turn my children's heart against me. This is very important. If you think that child so loves you so much, can't turn his heart against you, please, you are, you are, you are taking dangerous steps. That's why you will pray in this prayer. Not just this morning, go keep praying it as long as God breaks into your heart. A child can meet just a girl, and that girl will frustrate a boy can meet a girl, and that girl will, will throw away all the parents ever done, and the boy begins to hate his parents. And can also be the other way around for a girl. Having suffered, having trained him, the boy just have a perfect hatred for the family and no love at all. Lord, give love in the heart of my children to love me, to love their sibling, to love the, the, their parents and their sibling in the mighty name of Jesus. Love divine, love to, to love God, to love us as parents, to love their children and their sibling in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give love in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in our hearts, put love in our heart as a family, put love in each of our hearts as a family, and most importantly, in the heart of my children, Lord, put love in the mighty name of Jesus. To love me, to love their, their, their mother in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in the heart of my children in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Well, the sign you will know that your child loves you, that the child will pity you. That one, the way you would know this child will love you. A child that is not pitying you doesn't love you. But if your child loves you, will pity you. When you don't have, say, Mommy, don't worry. I know you don't have. I know when you have, you will give me. And the child will be at peace. It won't trouble you until you have. Oh, daddy, don't worry. I know you don't have. When you have, I know you will give me. So therefore, don't bother yourself. But a child that doesn't pity you, doesn't care where you get the money from, he doesn't care. So when you see a child doesn't pity you, you are in big trouble. You begin to pray immediately. One of the ways you know the child loves you is that he will pity you. One of the ways you say, you know your child loves his sibling, he will pity them. When you see a child doesn't pity others, when he's eating, he doesn't care whether he will eat or not. When he asks something is for him and for him alone, he doesn't care for others, he doesn't like sharing with others. That child needs prayer, not only prayer, need deliverance. So Father, the mighty name, I put love in the heart of my children to love each other, to love the family, to love me as a parent, or to love all us, us parents in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their hearts to love others around them, to love the less privileged in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their heart to pity me as a parent in the mighty name of Jesus. A child that not pity the parents is a very terrible one. Lord, put love in the heart of my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, love divine, love divine, love divine. In the mighty name of Jesus, to love themselves first, to love their sibling, to love the family, to love and pity us as parents. In the mighty name of Jesus, give love in the heart of my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, put love in their hearts. Strong love in the mighty name of Jesus, put love in the heart of my children. Strong love, love divine, the mighty name of Jesus, love for God love for themselves, love for their siblings, love for others around them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love out of my children in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When a child have love deep in his heart, he will pity the less privilege around them. When you see a child, seeing another child wearing a uniform at his, at his tongue, and he's laughing, it's a sign of a wickedness sitting down in the heart of that child. When you see a child driving in the car and looking at other children begging on the road and it's laughing, pity them. See how this one is dressing. See how this one look like and it's laughing. It's a child that the child have a wicked heart. But when you see a child that have love in his heart, we pity them. Mommy, why are they not in school? Mommy, why are they not in school? Now we are in good clothes. 
Mommy, will let me give them, mommy, will let me give this one 50 naira. Is a sign that she had half love sitting down deep in his heart. But when you see a child that see other children that's even sick, and maybe you take the child of hospital and see other children that are that sick and it's laughing, see how this one is working, or see a child is deformed. Maybe the child doesn't have a good leg, or the child is deformed in one form or the other and it's laughing. I mean, look at this leg. That child has wickedness sitting in his heart. And that will not be our children in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, put love out of our children to love the less privileged, to see others that are now as privileged as himself and pity them in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their hearts to help others, to pity the poor in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their hearts to share with others the little they have in the mighty name of Jesus. Put love in their heart to see themselves as being privileged and not just have a right, but as privileged. Lord, put love in their heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Please put love in their heart in Jesus' mighty name to pity others, to pity their parents, to pity the less privileged. Put love in their heart one by one in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Our children will grow in faith in Jesus' mighty name. They will love Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They will love praying in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to have praying, praying children. It's a beautiful thing as parents. If God just touched the heart of your children, it be a particular one of them, and the child make it a duty to be praying for you. Oh, you are done. You are good for life. It shows that you are not just struggling alone. And sometimes, as parents, we put our hand into things that may even hinder our prayers. Because they are young, they are innocent, and they learn to pray for you, God may be answering their prayers, and not just your own prayer alone. Lord, give faith in the heart of my children. Father, in, the in the mighty name of Jesus, to love God, to love praying, to love studying the Bible. In the mighty name of Jesus, put faith in the heart of my children, to love God, to love praying, to love Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, put faith out of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. It's the grace to have faith, to have faith, to have faith, to have faith, to be strong in faith, to choose to pray for themselves, to pray for their siblings, to pray for us as parents, to pray for their families, to be strong in faith, to be strong in faith. Give my children the mighty name of Jesus to love studying the Bible, to love going to the Bible, to love, to love church, to love attending church program. To love God in the mighty name of Jesus. Put faith in the heart of my children, faith that win, faith that have victory in their life to have faith for themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Put faith in the heart of my children, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Let their heart be full of faith, faith in God, faith in God in the mighty name of Jesus. Put their heart to have faith in Jesus' mighty name. Let them be strong in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be strong in faith in Jesus' mighty name. That they are, they are young, or even those that are old among them, let them be strong in faith in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. My personal experience, I know this prayer can be very true. You know, when I was quite small, there is this Bible they called Bible, the Bible should be Bible for um, Bible for something for Bible children. I can't remember the name now. That I love that Bible a lot because it's, it has a picture in it. That's what parents you must have in your house. Bible that have pictures. I go to the Bible over and over again. I have known the story of something before I hear it in church. By reason of that Bible story in my in our house, I will go over it, go over it, go over it over and over because I love the, the pictures. And by so doing, I start reading the stories. And one of the stories, the reason why I love, I have, I know many Bible stories today, not because I read them only as adult, but as child, as a child. I love reading those through those books. Please get in your house, Bible that have pictures. Children Bible, you will be surprised how they love them. And God will put faith out of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I can pray for myself. I can pray for my wife. I can pray for my children. Because I have learned to do it from small. By reason of the little to faith, God saw in my heart through those Bible pictures. Not just open, by, open TV and let children be watching cartoon. Get Christian cartoons for them. There are many of them in the market. It, it helps them a lot. Get Bible story for them. Put on the shelf in the house. Let them be, have free access to it. 
I know you have Bible in your house, but get Bible that have pictures. There are many of them push-ups. They helped me when I was a child. They can also help your children as well. And they will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. It gets to a point that they will grow out of your hand. You can't control them again. It's not left for them to find God themselves. But when they are this small, do something. And those are already old among them that we didn't do this thing for. God will lead them to please where they will find him in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, please lead my children to find you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the year of the Holy Spirit, lead them to find you in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask by the agency of the Holy Spirit that you walk upon my children. Walk upon their hearts. Walk upon their spirits. Walk upon their soul. Lead them to people that will lead them to faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Lead them to places where they will find you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And lastly, on this part, before I go to the next thing I want us to pray for, one of the ways your children can find faith is to have faithful partner, faithful friends, friends that love the Bible, friends that love God. That was the way that God has kept me. God brought me away, friends that love the Bible. And many of them are seen on this group today. And as a partner too, God give me a woman that loved the Bible. It goes a long way to help, to make you, if you see, I told you myself, you see a, when you are on campuses, you see many, you, from your parents, you know, many people that are passed on campuses those days, that are preaching those days, many of them not, don't have, they, 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 they throw Bible away. And not because they want to throw Bible, throw Bible away, but by the reason of this partner, they marry. And many of us know that by experience, that we have done much than we are doing now. As a woman, if your husband was a man that loved Bible and prayer, and as a man, you don't know I've done much that you are doing now. If your wife was the one that loved Bible and prayer, if a child fall a victim of a girl, or a boy fall a victim of a girl that hates God, that boy will find it hard to serve God. If a girl fall a victim of a, a boy that hates God, that doesn't have a place for God, it matter how faithful or how you have put faith in out of that child, it's a matter of time. I self may likely be drawing back. Lord, guide my children. They are marrying one now. And as many are marrying one now, miss, guide their hearts to partners that will make them to serve you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every of my children, they may be two years old now. They may be one year old. But as they grow in their hands and in your hand, one by one, lead them, O oh Lord, to men and women that will make them to serve you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I pray for them, the, the ones that are even mature for marry among them. Lord, lead them to partners that will give them peace and happiness in their home in the mighty name of Jesus. Is anyone already married among them? Lord, please touch their partners. Touch the heart of their partner. I pray for them as children in my hand also. Touch the heart of their partners in the mighty name of Jesus. Put faith in their heart. Let them love you in the mighty name. Let them love you in Jesus' mighty name. Love with all their hearts. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. May God lead our children to men and women that we help them serve God faithfully in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. First King chapter 5. First King chapter 5. Quickly we pray a prayer or two there. Then we'll be on our way. First King chapter 5. First King chapter 5. We pray this prayer shortly at the beginning, just a bit of them. I want to emphasize it through the scripture and pray it again before we go. 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 3 and 4. 1 Kings chapter 5, verse 3 and 4. Please read this scripture and uh, take note of all this word I want to put in your eyes to now. Verse 3 of 1 Kings chapter 5. Say, thou knowest, that was, David, that was Solomon speaking then. Say, thou knowest how David, my father, could not build a house under the name of the Lord is God. For the man, man look at those words, the Lord is God. Which me David knew, that Solomon knew that his God, his father half a God. He wanted to build a house, but he couldn't build it, for the Lord is God. And give the reason, for the wars which we are about him on every side. David was a man of God, a man, and the only one in the scripture that the Bible said that he was a man after God's heart. But he fought wars all his life. Both wars within and wars without. For the wars which we are run about him on every side. The war I fought, the battle I've, I've fought, or I'm fighting. My children will not fight them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
have already won their behalf in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. That's how they tell us as parents, be careful, don't be discouraged, fight this battle and fight it. In particular, marital battles. Because the battle you don't win, if you are not careful, your child might fight the same thing. But the battle I fight, I fought, and the war of engaging, my children will not be involved with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say it in the prayer that the battle I fought, the wars I've engaged with, either in my marriage, or in my head, or in my life, or in my academics, my career, all the wars and the battle I've fought in life, my children will not fight them in Jesus' mighty name. My children will not fight them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be engaged with them. I fought and won on their behalf. They will never go through them in the mighty name of Jesus. Marital war, wars in my head, Wars in my career, wars in my finance, the wars I fought up to this time in my relationship before I ever married, my children will never go through them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. For example, if your husband or your wife has uh, physically abused before, your children know how to go through that. If you have been duped before financially, your children know how to go through that. You fought that war that they might be, they not fight them. So that God allowed to fight that war. That man know that the war exists. And when we win and survive, then our children don't have to go through the same. The you go to health, health, health clinic, you say this thing that is disturbing you. Is your parent having the same thing? I say, I know my, my mom, I was once complained about it. Or my dad once come and say oh, it's genetic, it's in your family. No, if we've been a family in the mighty name of Jesus. The war we fought, the battle we are fighting, or we are we are winning, or we have won. And when we see win, our children will not go through it in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody will be asking, and if they don't fight any war, how we are, what will they fight? They don't have to fight any war. And look at verse 4. Solomon speaking, I said, by but now that was my dad. Though a man at God's mind, a pastor in his generation, a shepherd at God's mind, yet was fighting wars. But for me, Solomon, but now the Lord, my own God, his own God allowed him to fight war. The same God, though, but now that same God, my own God now, will never allow me to fight his war. Say, my God has given me rest on every side. God allowed David to fight war on every side, but he gave Solomon rest on every side. So that neither is their adversary or evil occurrence. I have no enemy. And I've never experienced any evil thing in my life. And it's just in the Bible like that. 40 years of reign. From the day that man was born to the day he died, he never fought any war. No evil occurrence. You can never trace any evil occurrence to Solomon or his life. The battle his father fought. And practically the only man that died in the Bible. The battle his father fought, he never went through the same thing. Abraham was delayed for years. Isaac was delayed. In particular, in Mary, why can I marry at 40 years? And uh, having children that are troublesome in his house, especially that one that one that was a trouble for him. And Jacob took people from there, having the same problem. But Solomon said, Not me. The worst my father fought, I don't, my own God will not allow me to fight it. And it is written, he had dress on every side. And that's why I know that the battle I fought, my children don't have to fight it. They will have rest on every side. Amen. If Solomon can experience it, my children can experience it. If Solomon have no enemy, my children can live their life without enemy. Somebody say, there's no way you don't have enemy. My children can live their own life without having enemy. I have enough already on their behalf. The one I have is sufficient for all of us. The battle I put on, I thank God, I say, I pay my due. Therefore, my own children, and henceforth my own life too. I don't have to have go through some of this thing again. I've fought enough. Father, the mighty name of Jesus, in the year of Holy Spirit, my children will have press on every side. And throughout their lifetime, call them by their name, my brethren, they will have rest on their in, on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will not be a battery, nor evil occurrence, traceable to any one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. There will not be any adversary, any enemy, or any evil occurrence traceable to any one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will serve God all their life. They will have rest on every side. The battle I fought, the war I fought. None of my children will fight the same thing in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not, I have won on their behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. 
have won on their behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'll give one example before I close from my own side. I just noticed everybody in my family have children outside when lock. Practically everybody. And I told myself, right from when I was very small in primary school, or secondary school, I can't remember now, but now I was very small. I told myself, I will never have a child outside when lock. It almost happened, but God did not like to happen because I proposed in my mind, I will not do it. They fought that battle, me, I will not fight it. There are some I'm fighting now that I know my children will not fight in the mighty name of Jesus. Say it again, Jesus' mighty name. They battled my parents fought. That me too, I'm fighting now. My children will not go through it in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. On my behalf, on the behalf of my family, on the behalf of my generations after me, my children and their children, children, they'll be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not go through those war in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of heaven, my God and their God, we give them rest on every side. There shall be no adversary physically or spiritually, and there will be no evil occurrence in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Our time is short, but the prayer has not ended. Please pray this prayer for them. In the course of today, listen over again and pray and pray for them that they can have rest on every side. You don't have to be calling your mommy, it has happened again. Huh? That is happening again. That will not be our children in Jesus' mighty name. If it is happening, I put a stop to it in Jesus' mighty name. They will have rest on every side. Either they grown up children, married children, or children that are preparing to marry, or that are very small in our hand, or the one in our belly, or in our loins. God will give them rest on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Neither there will be any adversary, nor evil occurrence against them in Jesus' mighty name. Please don't doubt these scriptures. It is possible. If God can do it for one, He can do it for all. And we do that parent in Jesus' mighty name. God will give us rest from our battles Amen. and from our wars. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, marital battles, marital wars, Amen. battle in our head, Amen. battle in our, uh, with sicknesses and diseases. Amen. From this moment on forth, there is an ending now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have rest as well. And our children will inherit the rest from us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Strong as David, wise as Solomon, joint here with Jesus, heaven home. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. Please, the best gift you can give your children as at this moment is to pray for them. Don't say, I don't have one yet. They will come, call them by their name. It is written, they call those things which we are not as though they were, and they responded to them. Call them, but give them name when they are not in your hand yet, and call them by their name, and they will respond in Jesus' mighty name. Pray for their peace. Amen. Pray they will have rest. Amen. If your children have rest, you too you will have rest. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. May God give you rest on every side. Amen. May God put his shiny face upon you and be gracious towards you. Amen. May God lift up his continent, the entire light of heaven upon you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Peace on every side Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. And God puts his name upon our children, the one in your hand and the one you are expecting. And may they have peace. And may God bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May the grace of Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of his Father, Amen. and the communion of the Holy Spirit Amen. abide with our children this year. Amen. Every one of them, both the one in our hands and the one in our loins and the one in our belly, may the praise of God abide with them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you too and myself as children in God's hand. May his mercy abide with us. Amen. May God anoint us with all of gladness Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I put the all of gladness upon every child in praying praying prayer group. By faith, I anoint them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They will have joy, Amen. they will have love, Amen. and they will have faith Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen.
sorry I'm taking a minute of your time. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Because a year of the Holy Spirit, what do we say? Hallelujah for the Lord God omnipot. Meet you over. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As many child I go as mentioned by name, God bless him. Amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for joining us. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name.